It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Aussie Man Reviews Australian Bushfires. Before we dive into this, y'all know what I need y'all to do is smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Let's see what these Australian bushfires are like. Talk to me, Ozzy. How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. There's no easy way to do a review of the fires that are going on in Australia, but it is a topic mm. that I want to talk about, and I want to share some of the footage I've seen online with you guys, and, and yeah, just have a fucking chat about it. For those of you who don't know what's going on, there's been about 150 to 200 fires burning in Australia since God, before dang. summer. It's been going on a while. Uh, many of you would have seen the footage of the koala struggling oh to survive and Lord. getting rescued back in late November. And, um, yeah, it hasn't slowed down. In the last... Oh, my... Bro, that literally just broke my entire heart, seeing that koala in that pain. Oh, my God. The week, the conversation around the fires has gone up a level of intensity, I guess I'm because serious? people around the world are now starting to see how inactive and unavailable our government has been throughout this fucking shitstorm. Yeah, Scott Morrison, our Prime Minister, returned from his fancy pants oh, Hawaiian wow. holiday the other day, and he tried to go out and meet people that have been affected by the fires, and it didn't go so well, to put uh -oh. it lightly. Why don't I just try to commentate some of that footage? I'll roll the footage over here, and we'll have a look at it. Here we have Scotty attempting to shake the hand of a pregnant Sheila whose house burnt down. You know what? Fuck that. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> that down. I'm already angry. I'm pissed off. Yeah. What is he oh, doing? Everything. He's grabbing her hand and making her shake his hand as she yep. attempts to ask a legitimate question about more funding for the rural fire service, for the fucking firefighters. Mm. You don't Come even grab now. someone's hand and make you, them shake your yeah, hand at a birthday God. party. Yet alone doing it to someone whose house has just turned to fucking ash. You know what I mean? It's like you wait for your friend to introduce you yep. and you each make a gesture that, you know, you've got to say, this is Gary, this is Steve, this is Julia. How you going? No, you, you don't you fucking get over Talk here, you prick. Him. Even the bloody pug is like, what is this motherfucker doing? This is an infringement <laughs> on social etiquette. And who the fuck is this yes. guy dressed as the bush tucker man? Look at what he's doing to her. Let's have, let me get... Let me roll this yeah. footage again. Now nah, talk to him, Ozzy, man. You don't grab someone's hand and make them shake your hand. She don't want to shake your hand. She ain't got to shake your hand. Don't grab her hand. Don't do that. She trying to ask you a legit question. You trying to dodge the question. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ozzy, man, keep rolling for this. So many people here have lost their home. We need yeah. more help. He's like, shh, love, shh. The Prime Minister likes quiet Australians with no questions. Stop asking questions. Go be a quiet Australian. You've got to be a quiet Australian. <laughs> Fuck me. And I think there's some confusion between Scotty and Bush Tucker mm. Man in terms of the dress code. Anyway, let's see how Scotty goes when he approaches a firefighter. How you doing? You're not bad. You're tired. Hey? You're big tired. Oh, I don't really want to talk. Tell that fellow I'm really sorry. No, he's I'm not sure he's just tired. No, no, he lost the house. It's just an attempt to get a nice photo. That is yeah, what it boils down to. That's what it is. No matter that's how you try to look at it, his actions are just mm. like, please, I need good publicity. Please, yeah. please. It's it's shameless and it's, uh, oh, I don't know. You are out. Good night. What about the people who are dead now, Mr. Prime Minister? What about the people who have nowhere to live? You're not welcome, you fuckwit. Ah. Oh my God. We're running around in private vehicles with using our private diesel, chainsaws, fuel to put these fires out because there's not enough units on the ground. What, How do you even put that fire out? That fire is an absolute monster. Oh my lord. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. And yes, I you know what I'm saying? It's like the pe he's going to try to talk to these people and shake hands. No, these people don't like you. These people are fed up with you. 
because you're doing nothing. You're going and enjoying vacation while people's losing while people are losing their houses. Pe- people are losing their lives. Know what I'm saying? So don't come in and try to shake everybody's hand and be friendly. No, because you're the person that 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 they voted in charge, and so it's your responsibility. All right, Tasha, I'm calm. I'm calm. You know what I'm saying? Just be having flashback because American politicians be doing the exact same stuff. Chainsaws, fuel, to put these fires out because there's not enough units on the ground. What do you want to see the Prime Minister do? I'll just give all the powers back to the local captains. He's got to do it. Oh my God. Bro. Otherwise we're screwed. Through your inaction, through your wow. corrupt behaviour, through your taking money from under the table, um, you're killing us. You're killing Australia. You're killing the wildlife. You're killing communities. We can't cope with what's about to happen. I suppose the only positive to come from the callousness of the Australian government and its emotional constipation over this disaster is that it's helped raise awareness about what's going on down here mm. on a massive scale. Over the last week or two, people have been like, Ozzy man, what's going on with your government and that disaster down there? What's going on? Is your is your prime minister, is he in our country, Ozzy man? Is he a bit of a dickhead? I think he's a dickhead. Get involved <laughs> in our politics. Yes. I'm not like, uh, yes. stick to your country. Like we are one world. We are Facts. people, so Facts. the fact we've got a shit government is just raising awareness even more for this disaster, and it's been incredible to see, especially in terms of donations and whatnot, and it's opened the Man. floodgates now for super-duper important conversations on mm. fire management, wildlife conservation, and dum 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 climate change. Again, we're seeing fire behaviour we're not used to seeing. I mean, usually we've got a plan. We're putting the backburn here, do that, do this. Now it's more reactionary. We've only just oh, got wow. into summer and we've got to survive now until, you know, March, April. And I do believe climate change My is real God. and that we can expedite it through our activities. If yeah. we keep jacking off to fossil fuels and overconsumption, I really don't want to imagine <laughs> what the year 2100 is going to be like. I think what's taking ages to sink in for people is the amount of damage that's occurred to wildlife and animals as well. It was about a week ago I first saw that article that said 480 million animals are affected by the fires or will be affected wow. when starvation and the displacement and all of that stuff comes into into play too. And it's just a Yeah, because those fires are literal like roaring fires. Those I've never seen a fire like that. I, I, that, that fire is a monster within itself, just destroying everything in its path. That's, I've never seen anything like that. That's crazy. A massive number to get your head around. I'm not saying it's wrong. It was fucking done by a mathematician professor who knows fucking oh maths and shit. Gosh. But it just, it takes ages to sink in. So now we talk about the, the sad of, the bushfires is not just the people that suffer, it's it's all of the animals and this is just heartbreaking to come along here and the fence line's just littered with animals that have tried to get out and uh, they've broken through the fence here trying to get through and look at this, it's just, it's disturbing, it is really, really disturbing, that is just such <coughs> a waste, um, oh you know. That's just terrible. Like, where could they have gone, these animals? They're <clears throat> nowhere for them to go. And uh, now they're just littered on the side of the road. And uh, they're everywhere. Look, overall, cheers to every- that's, that's literally one of the saddest scenes I've ever seen. I can't imagine these animals trying to break through the gate, these animals suffocating, these animals, bro. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Everyone who's donated money to that Facebook fundraiser that Celeste Barber started, that's on like 35 million bucks at the moment. And to oh, those wow. of you who sent money to the Red Cross or the wildlife organizations that are out there helping animals, you're fucking legends, okay? You are 
legends. I just want to be very clear about that. And the generosity and compassion from the rest of the world, I think, has been incredible. And I hope my countrymen and my countrywomen don't forget it in a hurry because we've got a tendency to be all selfish and greedy these days and to vote for governments that are selfish and greedy or help us be selfish and greedy. And I don't know why. I don't know why that is right now. But yeah, fucking legends. And, and that Sheila who's bloody raised 500 grand sending <laughs> horny blokes nude pics on Twitter. Well done to you, the naked philanthropist. Oh, wow. That is unbelievable you, yeah you show her <laughs> a receipt crazy. of the charitable organization that you donated to and then bam in your inbox slides a fucking picture of a vagina or some tits it's, I, mean, I haven't done it because i'm married but yeah my, colleagues, my friends have done it so yeah That's crazy. anyway um yeah i'll put links in the post description to any any places you want to donate and um keep being fucking legends and it shows the government you know it shames them for doing sweet fuck for all sure. as well. $35 million sure. raised by the common people just shames this shitty ass government. So yeah. why do we need governments? Just as a side note. I mean, we've mm. been living in a corporatocracy for a long time where corporations just rule everything. So oh, oh, you, oh, you preaching right now. Yeah, the American in me is definitely, you preaching to that, to that person right now. Because it, when he says corporations run ish, like that's absolute facts, bro. Like, I've definitely come under, I mean, you do learn growing up, like, money rules, runs the world. You know what I'm saying? He with most money is usually he with the most power. Not the president of the United States is not the most powerful person in the U.S. I feel like, nope, 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 that's twisted up. You know what I'm saying? That these corporations, these people at the top of these corporations, those people are where the power lies corporatocracy for a long time where corporations just rule everything so what do governments do anyway i'm sounding like a lunatic as said keeping legends this video is crashing to an end now i gotta go have a mid-strength beer and a plant-based beyond burger at grilled and um Ooh, yeah have a good one good. Are you from the media tell the prime minister to go and get from nelligan hey merry fucking christmas this one's called i hope scott's house burns down Oh. Well, there's nothing wrong with the holiday Unless you got a job to do mm. And it takes a lot of nerve to just fuck off When the whole country's counting on you Come on now I've heard all your lies and excuses I've heard all your thoughts and prayers Two firefighters dead and a thousand homes lost Well, I don't think Scotty cares He's a dip with dip shit drop kick clown That's why I hope Scott's house burns down He's a dip with dip shit drop kick clown That's why I hope Scott's house burns down Hundred grand in taxpayer money All towards his own church And just wow. when you think he was enough of a cunt He hits you where it really hurts The religious discrimination bill states He can do as he pleases God, he's always morally right Cause he believes in Jesus Well, he's a redneck racist right-wing clown That's why I hope Scott's house burns down He's a dip with dip shit drop kick clown That's why I hope Scott's house burns down He's a hideous, hate-filled, homophobe clown That's why I hope Scott's house burns down He's shit his ducks Till his jocks go brown On the day Scott Morrison's house burns down. I know this video was years ago, but she, she uh, it seemed like the whole country of Australia hated, absolutely hated Scott Morrison, and deservedly so. Uh, it sounds like he was doing nothing. But that's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. I got social media and Patreon all up top. If you want to subscribe to any of that, put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link, follow, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy, Dinia. Out.